Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got two brand new iPhones. So this is this time of the year when iPhone launches and this is also the time of the year where we do a quick unboxing and a quick overview of the latest iPhones. Now obviously the X is unavailable yet so we are covering the 8 and 8 Plus. I really wanted to say 7 and 7 plus but you've got a quick start guide that explains the very basics of how to navigate the phone with the touch id and um, power buttons volume rockers and everything um, apart from that you also get a pin that you use to open the tray where you put the sim card obviously the uh, storage is still non-expandable and two iphone apple sorry stickers now the all new iPhone 8 uh, is an all glass, I mean it's front and back is uh, made of um, glass. So apart from supporting the wireless charging via the Qi standard, you also have uh, a nice shiny glass back which kind of reminds me of the iPhone 4 and 4S especially in this color. Now this is the space gray color. Doesn't look as space gray as the 6S Plus used to. Um, however, I do like the color. I am kind, it kind of looks like a military gray. Um, but I think I'm colorblind, so I won't delve into details in terms of uh, the color grading or the color itself. Now, as you can see, it's still a single camera, even though it's an all new unit. Um, and even though it's a 12 megapixel unit, it's a new um, camera. Now, this is the 8 Plus. As you can see, I'm covering two colors because the new, hand, the new iPhones, the new Duo only comes in two colors. One being the space gray and the other one being gold. Now, I'm not going to cover the... Um, leaflet scenario and uh, again because obviously it's the same case as with the 7 and the same charge the same earpods now as you can see it kind of looks pinkish so I think it is called gold but I think it's a mix of rose gold and gold itself so looks nice not sure if it's gents color a uh, color that uh, a lot of male population will go for but to be honest looks nice i really like the color however i would call it beige but like i said i think i'm colorblind now as you can see because it's a glass it is a bit of a finger magnet so you can finger your iphone that sounded really bad but yeah unfortunately even though it's got an oleophobic coating the finger marks still stay obviously not it's it's not as um, terrible um, on the gold one as it is on this space gray one. iOS 11 right out of the box, where you can see, as you can see the whole command center has changed a lot, mainly allowing you for more shortcuts, and it's more unified as well. So it's all on one page instead of swiping left, right, and center. Now another feature of the handset, um, as opposed to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, is the True Tone display, which basically what it does is that it changes the white point of the iPhone display and adjusts the brightness to compensate for the lighting in the environment, which also means that the contrast decreases as the light around you gets brighter and white looks different under the different light sources. So you've got like four sensors which measure the ambient light color and brightness and allow the display to correct white point and illumination based on the lighting in the environment so it's pretty pretty clever tech but it looks very nice it, it looks so smooth for your eyes um, it's hard to dis, uh, explain that without seeing that uh, but you could experience that on the 9.7 ipad pro last year 
and obviously the 10.5 and 12.9 released this year. So it's a really cool technology. I'm a fan of it myself. And now when you move from an iPad Pro to an iPhone, you won't see the difference in the display, which is always nice. Now, now you do get the all new 12 megapixel camera, even though the pixel count is the same. Apple claims that the pixels used to sell themselves are deeper and that um, the obviously you do get the optical image stabilization for both pictures and videos, which is something you don't get on that many Android devices. More and more manufacturers of the Android handsets steer away from OIS. But yeah, as you can see, a new addition is recording 4K in 60 frames per second or 24 frames per second for, you know, that film look of your videos. On top of that, you've got the um, slow mo recording in 120 and 240 frames per second, not 960 like on the XZ1 and XZ Premium, but still pretty decent. Now, moving on to the iPhone 8 Plus, um, we're going to go to the camera settings just to show you that there is no difference in terms of the settings. It's this similar 4K at 24, 30 and 60 frames per second. And the same applies to the slow-mo video. So nothing that different. Obviously, the biggest difference is in the portrait um, mode, which is allowed via the second lens. Now, let's and obviously you do get the do um, twice optical zoom as well now portrait camera with its portrait lighting i'm going to show you how the pictures look in a second but yeah that's that's a brief overview of the iphone 8 and 8 plus i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to look like an android like i do um buy an iphone 8 and 8 plus oh wow proper russian gangster so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.